So I'm Adam Yala. I'm a PhD candidate at MIT CSAIL. I immigrated from Algeria to the United States back in 2004. And this is about to be my, I think, seventh year at MIT. So it's been, it's been quite a while. Uh, I'm a computer scientist. I'm in a NLP lab. So NLP is natural language processing. Uh, in MIT CSAIL with uh, my advisor, Regina Barzilay. When I first joined the group, uh, what I worked on was more how to understand language and build systems uh, that will read things like newspapers and build databases automatically. And we had some collaboration uh, afterwards to build a system for the FDA, and this is kind of where I got started. Uh, and after this project, uh, I learned about how Regina was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2014, and she was starting collaborations with different doctors in Mass General. And I was uh, of the first students to kind of start that work. And so the first thing I really looked at was it was, a, it was very shocking in the beginning to see how the medical world actually worked and how little information we use. Uh, so from a computer science perspective, there's lots of unnecessary losses that are there. Uh, at the patient level, the way we think about stuff is like we go from very rich signals, stuff like pathology and mammography, and summarize it into very few variables. So people with very, very different people will look the same to the models, uh, and then you get very different treatment outcomes. The second thing is that for people to do research, I had no idea that people actually read medical records and typed it into Excel by hand over months and years. Uh, and so one of the first things I worked on was building a system that kind of did the reading the report and putting it into Excel automatically. Uh, after we built it in a couple of weeks, it works pretty well. Then I built uh, a website and a database around it so doctors could use it for queries and kind of th has that as a backbone of their study. Uh, in the beginning, it was only breast and about 20 categories in pathology. Uh, since then, we've grabbed, like we've greatly expanded it. Now there's many organs. There's a fantastic student uh, that we've been working with, uh, Clara Lee, who's extended it to many more organs uh, and many more categories. And so this is now supporting a lot more research. Uh, and to us, that's exciting because the novel discovery is a big bottleneck in cancer care. The next thing we started working on is like once we start getting, uh, and this is all just to kind of step back in collaboration with Kevin Hughes and Mass General. Uh, the next thing we started working on is imaging. So given you have a mammogram, what can you tell about a woman? Uh, one of the first things we worked on was breast density, and now we're doing more cancer detection, oil detection, cancer risk. Uh, and all this has been collaborations with uh, Connie Lumen over at MGH, but now we're starting to collaborate with more hospitals, uh, including in Detroit and Sanford Medical School, Peru, and more others going forward. And it's very exciting because we, uh, as we build tools that work, uh, we can immediately see how we can implement them and make care better. I think, uh, the, depending on the problem, the definition can be quite simple and uh, easy. Uh, in, in my current space, in terms of breast cancer care, uh, progress is uh, survival. Progress is quality of life uh, in terms of can you offer women much less invasive surgeries earlier on. Uh, progress is how many people have access to that. How cheap can you make it? How affordable can you make it for people so that it's not a trade-off between whether or not you get treated or whether or not uh, you have these massive debts. Uh, and so all of these things you can kind of measure and see how does this change over time. Thank you.